Alright, hello and welcome to the Flight Sim Fan video. We're back in the AGS 37 Vigan. And uh, this time I'm going to show you how to use the RB 15F's anti ship missiles, the long range versions. Uh, these missiles seem to be a bit harder for people to understand, so I decided to make a video on it. Uh, this is what they look at. Uh, this is what they look like. Uh, they're pretty, pretty big missiles. We're in active pause right now, as you can tell. We're not actually moving, so we have time, some time to set it up. Um, in short, there's a lot of different codes you can use to these missiles. You can actually make them. You can actually program a turn point. You can program. A, a descent point, a target point, and a self-destruct point. We'll go through all those, and there's different codes you can use actually in the uh, computer down here to make it uh, either a medium search area, a narrow search area, wide scan range. So I'll show you all those codes. Uh, very quickly, I do have a uh, custom kneeboard that I downloaded from, um, I forget who, who made it, but I will link it in the description. I didn't make it myself, but I will be using it here. I'll link in the description and then uh, you can download it and put it in your uh, kneeboard using JSGME tool or the OBGME tool. So first you let's set up our bombs for attack or our missiles for attack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the left here and go to go to ANF. So we're in NAV right now. We're going to go to ANF mode. So uh, this knob right here over to ANF. Notice our screen comes online. Okay, now we're on this side of the panel. Uh, we're going to put our weapon selector intact, and I'm going to put my switch here to IMP, and this will this should allow me to, to uh, shoot one at a time. So if I was in series, they'd launch together. If I'm in IMP, it should let me launch them individually. Um, from there, I'm going to open my, my kneeboard so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's go to the next page. So this is the custom kneeboard here. And let's keep going here. RB15 TAC. So these are all the different codes we can use. 80000, single target, a large search area. So I already know we're going to a target that has a lot of targets around it. Uh, I think there's three ships, so we won't use that one. 80001, confined area, multiple targets, medium search area. It's usually the one I use. Uh, an unconfined multiple targets, medium search area, convoy attack, group target, large search area, or a bearing attack, bearing search mode. I've never actually used this one before. But uh, today we're going to be using 80001. So what we're going to do is we go over here, tact on our computer, in 80001. And as you see in the menus here, it says hit LSQ. So we'll just quickly hit LSQ. That's put in there. Uh, this new board is great. It also gives you codes for um, uh, the BK90s down here. Uh, a lot of great stuff in this new board. So with that all set up, go back to out, go back to act pause. We're flying to waypoint one. Uh, waypoint one for me right now, uh, you can see that it says B1. Waypoint one for me is uh, the ships out here. And you can see we still have 120 kilometers to go. So I'm going to unpause the sim here. And we're still in autopilot. Okay, so the sim's unpaused. And I'll uh, move it along towards when we're a little closer to the boats. All right, so we're at 100 kilometers now. And we're going to be using our A1 button to get our radar up. So if we look over here, we're going to be going to, it's an A0 right now. We're going to go to A1. And this turns on our radar. So in the controls, you just got to map um, A0, A1, and A2. I have it set to a three-stage switch. I'm using the boat switch on my Thrustmaster Warthog as this. So that's why it's set up. But you'd have to map um, A0, uh, A1, and A2 if you didn't have a three-stage switch. So the radar is on. And our target's 100 kilometers away. And we're in 60 scan. So let's move our scan range up. And to do that, the control for that is radar range increase, and there's also a decrease. You'll also be needing the T1 fix and the T0 fix, or TV fix, sorry, TV fix button as well. So there's our waypoint up there. We still don't really see anything. I'm going to bring it to night mode. If I remember how, there we go. It's just a bit darker. And let's climb up a little bit, and we'll, uh, as, if you go a little higher, it makes the radar easier to see the boats out there. Okay, I'll go back into mill. 
There we go. I just brought my radar uh, decreased a little bit. So what I did right there to make them be visible is to hit my radar elevation down. I just hit that once. So instead of the radar cone looking straight ahead, it looks down. I'm going to do another active pause here. Okay, we're active paused. Uh, so we have the targets now. Sorry about the view. And you can see there's three distinct targets we can choose from. We'll go for the middle one. So what we're going to do is we'll go to the right here. We're going to go and act pause in. We're going to hit BX8. Notice how that's changed to BX8 now on the top. Now our circle went away. Uh, we need that to reappear. So we're going to hit our T1 button. There it comes back up. And we're going to use, so what we did was we hit T1, T1 fix. And we're going to be using our radar stick down, left, up, and right to control this. I can move wherever I want. Put it right over that center guy. See if I can decrease the range a bit. No. So we'll put it right over the center guy as best we can put it. And then we're going to hit our TV fix. So TV fix, just like that. TV fix. BX8 is set up now. We have a heading to that, a range, and the circle is going to stay there. Now this little crosshair pops up. Uh, we're going to change that. So we're going to change our BX7. So BX8, I should explain this actually, BX8 is our target waypoint, which means uh, the missile is going to reach BX8, and that's where it's going to be looking for the target. It's going to be looking for the target at BX8. We're going to set a BX7 waypoint in. BX7 is our turn point, and uh, we'll also be setting a BX6 and 9. 6 is a descent point, 9 is our, uh, our self-destruct point. So if it doesn't find anything, it'll self-destruct by uh, a certain point. So let's go set our turn point in, BX7. I'm going to now hit T1 fix again. I can move that crosshair. Let's say, let's put it over here. So it's going to, first the missile is going to fly here, then take a left turn direct to the target waypoint. So T1, so T1 to pop up the crosshair, TV, TV fix to lock it in there. Let's set a descent point in, BX6, it says 6 now, T1 fix, um, let's move that, let's have it descend quickly, so there, TV fix, that's all set up, and we'll set BX9, so BX9, T1 fix, and We'll put it right there, it's fine. Cool, so we have a BX6 point somewhere around here. The missile will descend to its lowest point. It's gonna fly to BX7. It's gonna turn left to eight, which eight's the, always the target. And then if it doesn't see anything by nine, it'll explode. So now we'll come out of active pause. And we're within, uh, so that's, 90 kilometers, 80 kilometers, 70. We'll wait till we're within 70 kilometers. I'm going to turn a little bit to face the BX7 point. And we'll launch one this way, and I'll quickly change my BX7 waypoint, and I can launch two from kind of like a pincer maneuver attack. So you'll see that here shortly. Okay, so we'll fire this one off. Oh, let's <laughs> one last step. Let's go master him on. Okay, that one goes away. Now I'm gonna quickly come back in here. This is not mandatory, but I like to do this. BX7, and let's change that to this way. We'll turn left. So what I've done is I quickly changed the weight. So one missile is gonna go this way and left. One missile is gonna go this way and right turn. So it's gonna kind of pincher them in. Same way I, uh, I did it. BX7. T1 fix to prop the crosshair up, and then TV fix to uh, to lock it in there. Okay. Goodbye. And the airplane's going to turn around. We don't have to stay out here. In fact, I'll do it manually because it's quicker. And we'll go check up on those bombs in a second here.
All right, so let's watch them on F10. So this one's supposed to fly out here, take a left turn. This one's supposed to fly out here, take a right turn. You see our aircraft is quickly escaping the area. As I said many times, the Viggins countermeasure is the, is the afterburner. Uh, so we're not carrying any chaff and flare pods. We're hitting 826 knots in the deck. Uh, there's nothing really that can catch up to this on the on ground level like this. All right, so missiles are coming closer to, our, to the turn point. You can see they've already descended pretty low. And they will actually get lower. They're still uh, they will be still descending to a bit lower. There they turned. So now it's turned in. And that's heading right for the target. And this one's going to turn in soon. So now they're both converging at different angles. So hopefully it's harder for the ship to get one and they'll get through the defenses. So that was BX7. That's the turn point. Looks like this guy's going to pick up that ship, actually. So maybe we can knock out two of them. Wasn't originally the plan, but <laughs> that's okay. We'll see if we get one hit here. We'll watch. Uh, let's watch this one. This one's closer. Yeah, there comes the shots, and the missile will automatically start to avoid. I think it got it, though. Yep, definitely got it. Let's let's see if this one got it. Yeah, I'm aware. I don't I don't know if any ship, I don't know if any missile got in, but <laughs> that's how to use them at least. Um, yeah, usually you want to do this with much more people, but hopefully if the missile actually tracked towards uh, that one guy, it would have been better. So maybe I should have used a different code. Uh, for example, I could have used. Let's go to here. Um, actually, there isn't really a small search area, so yeah, let's uh, bank up over this hill. Either way, uh, that's how you use them. That's how to make them do the turns and the uh, on onto the target. So BX6 descent, BX7 turns, bx 8 the target, and then nine is the self-destruct point. Turn your radar off. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it really helps with your uh, vegan flying. And I'll see you guys in the next one.